this might very well be our last chance to get back to normalcy. I hope it really doesn't happen, but the infrastructure is set up and everything they've done so far is pointing to what they're going to do later this year. They've already tested us by locking us in our homes when hospitals aren't busy, no one's actually dying, nothing is happening. They've created the perfect illusion through the control of the media without anyone actually checking their facts. It was painfully easy. And now they know how well they can manipulate us, how easy it was to do. Just yesterday they announced they started radiating children and saying it's related to the Toyota Corolla. As if intelligent people don't actually know what's happening. But if you look in the comments on these news articles and what people think, Oh, I'm glad I'm wearing a mask and I don't want to send my kid back to school. I'm afraid of the Toyota Corolla. These people have no idea what's going on. The psychological warfare manipulation has worked perfectly on the American public that the government has been poisoning in the food, air, and water for dozens and dozens of years to lower their IQ, remove their critical thinking, and get them into a state of fear to which they can be manipulated in. What's very important and what I need to emphasize here is this is the last chance. If they lift these uh, quarantines in these places starting now, this is the last chance that we'll be able to go out as normal people and communicate with other people before being locked down again late this fall. They know it was this easy. All they have to do is ramp up the deaths, ramp up the craziness, kill some children, kill some people. Turn those switches on. Turn those cell towers and antennas in those schools on a higher frequency. Turn the Wi-Fi on those buses to a higher frequency. Get these kids, get these children very, very sick. So some of you are very well aware that I've been making a flyer for you guys to hand out and uh, I actually had the flyer printed but there's a new correction on the flyer and I will post a link to it which you can download that's going to be in the description. So this is the original flyer. I already spent $300 on printing like uh, uh, 2,000 copies of this but it's very important that uh, you guys use the new one because uh, and we'll go over this but on the old one it says Verizon has a yearly conference called Malakan. Malak is the biblical name of a Canaanite god associated with child sacrifice. Instead of this, it now says they have already killed children. They are blaming an illness related to Toyota Corolla when in reality it's radiation. So this is kind of like woo-woo stuff to some people. So we already have proof that they've killed children. So I put that on there instead instead of this. That's the only thing that's changed. So if you guys haven't seen this, uh, I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. Have you been suffering from insomnia, headaches, fatigue, lowering of libido, nausea, loss of appetite, depressive tendencies, brain fog, dry cough, heart palpitations, memory loss, irritability. These are symptoms of radiation poisoning. And just about everyone right now where these new cell antennas are getting stalled is suffering from this. And with cell phone use ramping up over the past few years, some light bulbs are going to go off in people's heads. Oh, yeah, I started feeling like this last year. Is that what it is? And then they're going to start looking and seeing that they installed these devices in their town. Radiation poisoning from non-ionizing devices that emit radio wave signals, cell towers, cell phones, routers, modems, any Wi-Fi device. They will blame these symptoms on the virus. They have the perfect scapegoat for this. They can blanket the virus over everything. Oh, anything wrong with you? You have your toes are swelling. You have a skin rash. You're turning blue. Your pee pee doesn't work. It's the virus. It's it's ridiculous that they can just blame everything on it when there are so many symptoms to radiation poisoning, depending on the device, the frequency, your exposure to it. While we have been locked inside, telecom companies are working overtime to get the new Wi-Fi infrastructure installed on our streets, in our towns, and in our schools in the forms of these new towers and LED streetlights. And these people are very clever at disguising this stuff. I saw one like church had a cross in front of it and they took apart the cross and they installed the antennas inside the cross itself. These are not street lamps. These are not cell towers. If you look at this cell tower on the right, those antennas, the reason they're in a grid-like pattern is because when you change the pulsing frequency of each of those devices, it changes the direction of the antenna signal. If they were cell towers, why would you need to change the direction of it like a military weapon? Why would you need to do that? I, I might do a video explaining that grid pattern and how those electronic pulses, uh, they can change them based on the, uh, the intermittent pulse rate. 
This is military weaponry. They have total control over these devices and can ramp up their frequencies to make you very, very sick. So again, there might be some places right now where people are already getting very, very sick, but I guarantee you they have control over these devices with the flick of a switch. They can ramp them up. They can point them in this direction. They can point them in that direction. And if you're not protected, you will be in trouble. The way to protect yourself is basically paint your walls with lead paint, take the towers down, uh, you could put up certain curtains. Uh, you could wear the protective clothing isn't really that useful because you can't protect your head. So you mainly want to make sure that the place you're living, the place you're sleeping, is protected. Uh, you could put aluminum mesh on the walls. You could do a bunch of things. Definitely check out my EMF video, and uh, I might do a video in the near future about how to protect yourself. Do not send your children back to school. They have installed these devices, and your children will start suffering the above symptoms if they have not already. And when I said if they have not already. That was before these articles about the children being put in hospitals and the children getting sick. And I did that video last Saturday, two days ago, and on Sunday, some children have died. So as I said, this will now be, they have already killed children and they are blaming this new sickness on the Toyota Corolla. But the new sickness is actually radiation poisoning. It's very simple. You look up the symptoms of radiation poisoning. This is textbook. People get exposure to these devices. They might not have initial symptoms, but several weeks later, they start suffering from the symptoms. Our rulers are evil. Petition your town to remove these devices and keep your family safe. Avoid Wi-Fi technology as much as you can. Do not trust the news. Do not trust your government. Do not trust the police. And it's very difficult. There's little hope, honestly, for handing out these flyers and hoping it clicks in people's heads. But the main point of these flyers is what's going to happen is people are gonna read these. They might dismiss them. They're probably going to dismiss them at first, especially if they're not suffering these symptoms. But when they send their kids back to school and their kids come home and they say, Daddy, my tummy hurts. Daddy, I have a headache. I, I don't have an appetite. They're going to remember these flyers and they're going to start thinking and people are going to start thinking. This is very important to get this in the hands of as many people as possible. I went on Amazon. I bought a, I bought a staple gun. This was uh, 20, 30 bucks. This is an arrow t50 staple gun um, arrow fastener made in the usa 90 years this seemed like i looked through a couple brands and this seemed like the best one um, i spent maybe like 10 15 minutes reading reviews on amazon and i decided to go with this one and um the staples i bought 5,000 staples this was probably like 15 bucks too so you know i spent 40 dollars on the staple gun and the staples i bought 2,000 flyers which cost me $250. Uh, I think I might just hand these out or I'm gonna see if I can hand out the other ones. It doesn't really matter. Um, it is important though that you guys use the new flyers that I'm gonna put down in the description below because there's already proof that they've killed these children with radiation poisoning. Uh, I think that's a very important thing to add here instead of saying, oh, well, these people worship uh, biblical satanic gods or whatever. So hypothetically, you know, the quarantine is gonna be lifted in New York within the next week or two. I'm going to spend a decent amount of time plastering these all over my town and seeing what the response is. Hopefully, they don't have some type of government workers or people that are taking these down as soon as I put them up. Um, I might hire people to put them up as well. Uh, I just want to make as many people as aware of this as possible. If you guys can choose places to put these, go to the schools. Go to the schools and put these up because there is a school that I didn't go to, but it's in my parents' neighborhood that literally is where I went to test. Um, I did a video, I think last week or the week before, where we went around and tested the LED lights. Um, and, and the video was actually titled, this is weaponry, these are not LED lights. And it has a picture of the LED lamps on the thumbnail. In that video, I went to a school where they actually have these lights set up. So if you go to the school where they have these lamps set up and you put this poster on the telephone pole where the lamp is, you're gonna get some parents very, very, very concerned. So definitely go to the middle schools, go to the high schools, plaster these all over those schools, any community places, every telephone pole where people walk by and commute, get as many people to know about this as possible. You know, there's, a, there's an LED lamp on that telephone pole right there, and there's one on that right there, and when people see this flyer under it, they're gonna see, oh my God, that's what that is. That's a, that's a weapon, there's an antenna on it. Uh, so hopefully this helps wake some people up uh, I, I think most people are literally just inside being completely brainwashed by the media and they're not being exposed to anything alternative whatsoever. This is going to get them to think and I think this is the most effective thing we could possibly do. 
This is their weapon. This is the weapon. There's nothing else to talk about or worry about. If they don't have these antennas and their LEDs up, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. But they have invisible military radio wave technology that they can activate right now and literally kill people. People can literally drop dead. That's what happened in, in China. That's what happened in countries where they turn these frequencies very high. Uh, there was a, a gas leak in India or something and they blamed hundreds of deaths on a gas leak. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's amazing how easily you can just blast people with invisible weaponry and then blame it on invisible things like viruses and gases. So, again, this is going to be down in the description below. I did have it so you guys had to sign up to my newsletter uh, to get this because I, I'd rather have it private and I'd rather know who I'm setting this to. Um, and we might do that because it's easier. So, if I can't find a software to host this, uh, this flyer, uh, if I don't know where to post this, um, it's going to be sent via the newsletter again. So definitely sign up for the newsletter, frank-stefano.com, if you guys want to stay updated on this. Um, I know some of you, probably a few hundred of you, quite a few, have the old poster. And you can do the old poster or the new poster. Again, the difference is it now says that they have killed children at the bottom instead of the Malacan stuff. Uh, but I have 2,000 of these to hand out anyway, so uh, maybe I'll just hire a bunch of people off Craigslist, have them hand the old ones out, and I'll hand the new ones out as well. But I I'd rather have that important message in the flyer uh, i think it's it's better that people can go look and see those news articles where they blame the mysterious illness on the toyota corolla so uh, thank you guys for joining me today uh, again i want to emphasize the importance uh, that they're going to lift this lockdown and this is our chance this is the last time we're going to be able to go outside and interact with people and hand out these flyers and get people aware of what's going on and honestly I don't want to live in a bunker for a year like uh, like I don't want to do that. I don't want to live in a world where that's something that has to happen. I want it to be a world where uh, a community of people can actually get back to some type of normalcy and work together to have a solution as opposed to being controlled and manipulated by these elite people that need society to function. These elite people need society to function as normal until they can get where they need to go. And they're pretty much set already to my understanding. but. Uh, whatever, Let, let's, um, let's see how these next few months go. Unfortunately, I think most people are just happy they're going to be able to go out to restaurants, go out to eat, go out to party, uh, go out to the beaches, when in reality, they should be preparing uh, for the worst, for a six-month lockdown, for a very long period of time, uh, for the worst the government is going to bring. And unless we can wake people up, and wake a lot of people up, we're going to be screwed. So, uh, that stuff is all down in the description below, guys. I guess we can try to be positive, right?